Was oh, you bet we were excited. <laughs> you were? Oh, yes. We'd just come in many hours a day and weekends and things, try to get everything nailed down for publication. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of course, when it came out in applied physics, in I suppose the physical re review letters, wasn't it? Yeah. There was a companion paper from IBM. And they didn't quite have a laser. They had a very pronounced stimulated emission, a very narrow spectral narrowing, mm -hmm. but didn't quite have a laser. Okay. But uh, it was, you know, there were several companies that were very, very close to it. It's going to be invented very soon by somebody. Mm -hmm. Jack Pankov had evidence for very high efficiency luminescence, and the Lichen Lab people did too. And Sumner Mayberg, I forget where he was, Sylvania maybe, mm -hmm. he was talking about his evidence for very high efficiency radiation, but it was kind of indirect evidence. And then these guys had the idea of making a fabric per cavity. Okay. So that, um, and there was a Japanese paper, Nishizawa, had a patent on a semiconductor laser, but it was uh, sort of a hypothetical kind of thing, speculative, was using a cavity and using tellurium as a semiconductor and a lot of things that would not work. But Was it ever demonstrated? No, no, it, it could never work.